Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Friday the 24th of November. National ACT and New Zealand First have officially sealed the deal to form the next government. The three parties have just signed their respective coalition agreements in Parliament. The role of Deputy Prime Minister will be shared between New Zealand First's Winston Peters and ACT's David Seymour. Peters takes the job as Deputy for the first one and a half years of the three-year term. The 20 strong cabinets comprised of 14 ministers from National, three from ACT and three from New Zealand First. The finance portfolio goes to National's Nicola Willis, but the proposed foreign buyer tax will no longer go ahead. Incoming Prime Minister Christopher Luxon says National's tax package will continue to be funded partially through spending reprioritisation. Luxon calls it a true three-party coalition government. I think it's a very strong team. We have first-time ministers and I want to congratulate each and every person on their appointment to the ministry. And Winston Peters, who will be Deputy Prime Minister for the first half of the term, says the talks were long and complicated. We went to the wire for our people in the same way that David Seymour did for his, and Mr Luxon did for his as well, and that's the nature of these coalition talks. Auckland's High Court is being evacuated after receiving a threatening email. Nelson's Courthouse, some Auckland health facilities, as well as dozens of Auckland schools have also received the email. Police say they don't believe there is any actual threat. Te Whatu Ora says all Auckland hospitals remain open. Delicate planning has gone into ensuring the success of Israel's four-day truce with Hamas. Both sides are due to stop fighting at 6pm New Zealand time, with Israel releasing 150 Palestinian prisoners in exchange for 50 women and children taken hostage by Hamas. Hamas will release 13 hostages on the first day, with Israel releasing 39 prisoners. CNN's Oren Lieberman says the US is viewing this as a testing period. If those work out, then there becomes the possibility that the pause in fighting could be extended for the release of more than 50 Israeli women and children over a longer period of time. Hamas also says 27 people were killed in a strike on a UN school in the north of the Strip. Strong winds are predicted, are predicted to blow through Wellington this weekend. Travellers on Cook Strait ferries are once again being told to expect disruption due to the gusts. Met Service forecaster Lewis Ferris is warning Wellingtonians to temper their expectations for the early summer weather. That southerly push through it's a real reminder that it's still November. We are still going to have a few more cool air movement as we move through the month. So we'll just hold our breath in terms of talking about something. It'll be all hands on deck across retail outlets today. Tens of thousands of people are expected to descend on shopping malls around the country for Black Friday sales. A Westfield spokesperson says staff are on hand to manage traffic flow and assist customers in the event of any delays. To sport, Tiger Woods played six rounds of golf on the PGA Tour this year, but still earned a $20 million bonus via the Player Impact Program payouts for those with the biggest influence on the sport through various fan engagement measures. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton has denied seeking a move to Red Bull, claiming instead that their principal, Christian Horner, approached him. And the Panthers claim they will opt out of any potential NRL league bidding war with West Tigers for 5'8th Jerome Luai. I'm Malcolm Jordan. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.